No. Oh, oh. It's only me. What are you doing? Making you a cup of tea. Is that a problem? No. No, thanks. What are you staring at? Oh, sorry. You know, a bad dream. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting nursing fact. Bad dreams are often stress-related. Something you want to talk about? Not really, no. I wanted to see you. Oh, well. <laughs> That's really not like you. Something's definitely not right. Are you ill? <laughs> hey, get off. <laughs> Hey. David, can we go to the park with Robin? Uh, I don't know. No, might not be safe. Please, Daddy. Lil, I've said no. What are you on about? They'll be fine. Robin takes Charlotte there all the time. Yeah, well, these are my kids. Go up and get changed. You can play in the garden. I can keep an eye on you then. What's up with you? Nothing. All right, just get off my case. Just pass me that toast. There you go. You go. Yeah. yeah, I was saying to Robin, we probably could have got more for this at auction, but well, we needed the sale really, so uh, so I killed her and put her body in the river. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? Yeah. You have something about the house. <laughs> right. So how long have we got you for? Oh, I don't know, I'll probably have this and get off in a minute. You've only just got here. Well, I've just got stuff to do. Right. Well, you gonna have something to eat? No, I'm all right. You gotta have something. Well, I'm not hungry. You've only had a bit of toast. Yeah, well, I'm not a kid anymore. I can decide when I want to eat, when all I right, don't want to eat. All right, all right, all right. What's got into you? No, just you, pecking me out. Mm. Pecking your head? Yeah. I'm trying to give you some food. You know, I don't know, you turn up unexpected, you're in a foul mood, and then we don't get a chance to catch up. Just leave it, will you? You know, when you were little, I could always tell when you'd done something wrong. Or well, someone's upset you. Yeah? You know, I've not done anything wrong this time. Oh. So someone's upset you? Well, I used to pick you up and make you tell me you'd done it. And then I'd sort it out. Although, most of the time, it was your mum, to be fair. Hey, you're a bit too big for me to pick up now. Hey. But he still can tell me who's upset you. And I can still sort it out. It's not easy. I know. I think I know what it is anyway. I'll be speaking to your mum. And what she say? Oh, she says that you're angry with me for moving away and not telling you. Yeah, I am. And I understand that. Although it wasn't too long ago that I was angry with you. When? Well, if I wanted to take my grandkids off to Barbados. Well, you never said. Well, it didn't happen, did it? Look, I just want my kids to have a better life than I did, and I think going to New Zealand is going to be perfect. It's beautiful, it's safe, there's no crime. I've got myself a well-paid job, lovely house, overlooking a lake. What do you think? I don't know, maybe we could come and visit. Yeah, of course you can. We've got loads of rooms. You can have your own annex. Well, I've already got my own annex. Oh, yeah. Well, one more body under it, eh? <laughs>